guys welcome back to today's video so we are doing a much requested long-awaited Dollar Tree makeup tutorial I cannot believe I waited this long to do another one I think what it is I just kind of like build up a stash of products for you guys so it can do a full face so I'm gonna try and do one of these like once a month because I love testing out the products that I haul in my videos so I have shop with me's I have hauls and then I have like my get ready with me's and like testing out the products and seeing how they look how they wear so this is the look I came up with today everything is from the Dollar Tree yes believe it or not you guys and I had so much fun trying out so many new products we have tons of name brand finds we also have lots of LA colors products but I am very excited to share with you guys all the hits and everything that I've loved and how I got this look today it's just fun I kind of winged it and went with whatever I was feeling so if you are not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that button also tap the bell because you will get notified like a little push notification on your phone when you have to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because YouTube is being a little funky about subscriptions and even one of my followers just told me the other day that she was unsubscribed since like December and I was like oh my gosh so make sure you have both on so let's get on into it if you guys want to see all my Dollar Tree makeup goodies and how I apply everything and what my favorites are then just keep watching it has been too long since I've sat down and done one of these and I have so much stuff to play with so let's get on into it I'm trying to see what I have for eyes that could work for this I feel like I'm a little bit lacking in the eyeshadow department which I regret because I have had so many opportunities to pick up some new eyeshadow palettes at Dollar Tree, like if you've seen my shop with me's, and I was like, oh, I don't need one, but I really did need one for one of these videos that I'm doing right now. Hard Candy Galactic Eyes Palette, which I love. This is a favorite. I have used this palette before, but I also love this, the Look Pro Shadow Palette in Earthy Vixen. So I have not found yet an eyeshadow primer at Dollar Tree, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my basically most affordable one that I have believe beauty eyeshadow primer you can get this at Dollar General so it is a dollar store product I also have this palette that I got from Dollar Tree from wet and wild it's the floral values five pan palette and this is like their old format so there is a brow bone shade in this wet and wild floral values palette and I am just gonna use that to set that eyeshadow primer so you guys let me know if you found any good makeup recently at Dollar Tree. I love hearing what you guys found. It's always so fun to kind of like compare our stores and see what I find versus what you find. This brow bone shade is decent. It's not my favorite, but it does the job. I'm gonna go into my Look Pro palette and just take this shade right here. It's called Dusk, and I'm just gonna use that as my first transition shade. You find one of these eyeshadow palettes, the big ones from Hard Candy at Dollar Tree definitely snatch it up it is great to have in your collection it's also great if you're a makeup artist and you're just starting out and you need eyeshadow palettes for your kit I think the quality in here is amazing I was very impressed and like this lays down so nicely and I have no issues blending it I'm just gonna go on my other eye so I did a vlog the other day I don't think it will be up because I just posted a vlog yesterday but we went ahead and found someone to buy out one of our car leases and it's just such a relief knowing that we don't have that payment anymore and it used to be so hard to get out of a car lease like you were married to that thing and it almost feels like you're kind of trapped in this payment so I'm getting into Dave Ramsey and finances and just learning about all of that and it's really been super eye-opening to just sit down and learn and just be wiser and smarter about finances and financial decisions and things like cars like we don't need a brand new car that is going to set you back this huge payment I mean it wasn't a huge payment like some people have crazy car payments like this was probably if you're gonna get a new car this was probably the lowest payment that you could get a new car at so I mean that's kind of the upside of it but um, at the same time I don't want to be in debt to that and also um, with Dave Ramsey and everything I'm learning that the best thing is just to buy a used car and buy it in cash so if you don't have that then you have to save up for it to buy in cash 
and also of course research before you buy a used car you don't want to buy anything that has like 200,000 miles or anything like that you really want to constantly be researching and finding the best deal with the lowest miles yes i could do a video on something like this but i don't know if you guys would be interested because it's like not my usual uh topics maybe more in like a vlog style not like a sit down like this in my makeup area I feel like it's stuff that everyone needs to know and everyone should be learning but no, we're not learning it that's why here i am in my 30s just learning about this stuff now it's like stuff that you kind of know but you really have to like delve into it i love that color and i'm trying to decide what color scheme i should go with because i do have that purple shadow and i'm gonna go into my crease next with this reddish shade then i'm gonna dive into the galactic eyes palette i think i have used this on my channel i'm not really sure I'm gonna take this purple shade supernova and let's see how it is if I just put it on my finger because I feel like this could be a nice base for that purple liquid shadow that we have I don't love putting like a deep color all over my lid like I like to leave the inner corner for a lighter shade I just feel like on me that's more flattering thing my god giving makeup brushes here with my fingers these work really well with your finger to lay down the product it's this one right here it's called constellation so maybe if i wet my brush first brush this is my dollar tree setting spray corner here there's been so much hard candy recently and i love it so even though it's drugstore it's always fun to find it for a dollar and hard candy is repackaging i think i mentioned this they're repackaging their items so that's why it's at dollar tree because i think they're just getting rid of their old packaging they did like a rebrand so generally what i think happens is a brand when they do like a repackage like that they have to figure out a way to get rid of that old inventory so what do they do they give it to dollar tree sell it off to them just to kind of get rid of it and then we end up buying it it's not like it's expired or anything because i know a lot of people say like oh things like especially on tiktok people are like that's expired and like no it's not expired it's just that the brand redid their packaging this is still good product it's not like from 20 years ago and it's literally the same as the stuff they have on the shelves right now at Walmart I'm gonna go into my wet and wild palette I was telling you guys about and take this deeper crease shade it's kind of like a purpley blue and I'm gonna take a Mac 217 brush and just kind of work this on the outer corner of the eye and there is some fallout with these shades, so I don't mind though because that's why we didn't do our foundation yet. I totally forgot we still had this to try, the Liquid Shadow. This is in the shade Regal. And I'm just going to probably end up putting this on the center of the eye because that's where I do have that purple shade that's kind of similar to this. So I want to make sure I'm like matching up the color. Watch first. Ooh, that's pretty. I mean, there's not really like glitter in it. It is just more of a shimmer shade. Tap that right on top. Ooh, that's real pretty. Blending it backwards this way. So not really to the front because I don't want to mess with that color. We put on that lighter color. So just blend it back. I really like these liquid shadows. I also have the pink one and I think that one is beautiful. I've used that before in a tutorial. And I just love showing you guys that you can make some bomb makeup looks using makeup from the dollar store. And that like totally helped really transform the center lid because I feel like before here it looked a little dull. But now with this really makes it pop especially layered on top so that's why I love these kind of liquid shadows because I feel like they just give that little extra oomph to the look you guys ever been on a cruise so when I was younger we went on like our first and only family vacation we were a family of four so vacations weren't really a, a thing too much and um we went on this like all-inclusive vacation it was like two days at disney two days in florida and then like two days on a cruise and we uh, we went on this ship I'm just gonna go back into that light shade we applied just add a little bit more the boat was like so rickety and old we literally just i found like our id cards the other day not the other day but like last year um and it was like oh my gosh memory so at that time i was about 12 and i was such a picky eater i refused to eat anything on the ship so i was literally skin and bones because i ate like three things i got sick i would like be get so nervous i would literally make myself sick that's just like my life right there give myself anxiety ever since i was a little girl make myself sick 
and yeah so I got sick on the ship it was in bed the blankets had like holes in them but it was still like such a fun memory just being on vacation with my whole family just having that time with them just knowing like that was our only like family vacation together but also it makes me realize how important a family vacation is if you can afford one to try and go on one each year it doesn't matter really where it is but just to have those memories I think is so important and also it makes me realize so much of that little 12 year old girl on their cruise ship is still me and who I am today like so much about me has changed but still so much of me is still that girl who gets herself you know sick with anxiety and worry and still you know I have to pray about that every single day that God would just calm calm me down, you know? I just went ahead and put some of that purple shade on my lower lash line because I always like adding the shades I put up here down on my lower lash line just like to make it cohesive. So for my waterline, I just realized I had this purpley color that I think would be really pretty. This is Flower Beauty Easy on the Eyes Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Aubergine. So let's try this out. I have had this sitting in my Dollar Tree makeup draw. I have a whole draw. And a basket just for Dollar Tree makeup finds. I've been wanting to test this out. Ooh, it was like sticking up. Okay, so it's kind of like a purple. Yeah, it's like a it's like a deep purple. It almost looks black. Okay, that definitely complements the eye. I do recommend kind of warming it up on your hand. Probably a little challenging applying this to the waterline. Um, it doesn't just glide on super pigmented, so it's not the most pigmented eyeliner, eyeliner in the world. When you swatch it on your arm, it is pigmented, but on my waterline, I feel like it's not gonna, it's not sticking the back. Eyeliner, I have this brand Beauty Essentials that is at Dollar Tree. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this to create a wing to start at the outer edge and draw out. And this is more of a, like, liquidy kind of eyeliner rather than a felt tip so it's definitely a little bit more challenging than the felt tip i do have a newer lash curler from dollar tree it's a really weird one it's this little tiny compact guy and it's like a little travel curler and i actually do like this um so i'm just gonna curl my lashes with this you kind of have to like get used to it because it's different from a traditional curler but if you if you use it properly it does really curl your lashes nicely so it's also nice because you can kind of move it around and focus on different areas like the outer edge of your lash where it usually doesn't curl at least for me so lashes are curled and I do have a new mascara to try that I got at Dollar Tree it's the hard candy stroke of gorgeous bold black mascara they have these in a bunch of different colors like green and purple I actually just ended up getting the jet black so we're gonna try this out together and I do like this particular wand. If you guys watch my channel, you know I like these like long skinny wands. They always seem to work really well with my lashes. And I was excited because in all my previous tutorials, I've only had that Wet n Wild mascara, the green one, which I love, but I'm like, I want something else. Like I want to try out another mascara for you guys instead of the same old, same old. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah. With these types of wands, I find it really easy to grip the lashes to apply the product. And I definitely think this is a good volumizing mascara rather than lengthening. I would go in with something separate for length. Nice curl going on here from my compact curler. I want to go a little bit bold with the lashes today. So I have this from the Ioni Marble Collection. These are called Wispy Cat Eye in Emperador. So... That's what they look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these out. They are very full, very wispy cat eye, like more intense than other lashes I've worn. Okay, I already applied one over here. So pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the other one. I really like these because they're just like so full. We're moving away from eyes now onto face. We have so much stuff to test for a face. So I have quite a few. I have the sensitive skin one. I have the perfecting primer. And then I also have this one, which I have not tried yet, which is the 12 hour long wear primer. So let's try this one today. I am definitely curious about this. So this one says it's a creamy primer that works for up to 12 hours. It's an invisible base that acts like a magnetic force to attract all day flawless wear. So I'm wondering if this is gonna kind of be like a Urban Decay Hydro Grip Primer. 
it's definitely creamy. It doesn't have that typical silicone feel like some of the other hard candy primers have. It's more of like a moisturizing feel, which is interesting. So that's what it looks like on my hands. It comes out kind of like an apricot color. It has like a little bit of a tack to it, which is nice for a base for my foundation. Okay, I definitely like this so far from what I've seen. I feel like it's gonna be a nice gripping primer. This is the Flesh by Revlon Thick Stick Foundation. I think all of us didn't know that Flesh was made by Revlon until we saw this packaging at Dollar Tree. So Thick Stick is a foundation concealer or a darker shade of contour, but it doesn't firm your skin. So there were so many shades of this, but I didn't really know which one would be my shade. And they have tons of deeper shades, even at Dollar Tree to choose from. So I thought that was really great. We're gonna see how this is. I'm not really sure. The little stick foundation. And this, yeah, this was definitely popular. This retailed for like $18 at Ulta. I was so shocked to find this at Dollar Tree. To find an $18 foundation is crazy. If you can find your shade, definitely pick this up. I'm gonna try it out with a flat top brush to see what kind of coverage I can get. So I'm just gonna put some on. I feel like, I mean, it is called thick, so I probably won't need that much. And I'm just gonna kind of tap it into my skin. Okay, interesting. I think this shade is a little light for me, but again, it was so hard to choose. Wow. I mean, that definitely adds coverage. I've been getting more into stick foundations like this. I do have a couple. It's not like my preferred method of foundation. I am more of a liquid girl, but I like trying new things. Yeah, I definitely say this shade is too light for me. I probably could have went one shade up and it is definitely a thicker formula. So blending it out is a little bit more challenging. It's working pretty well with the brush. All right. Well, I mean, I feel like my skin looks really nice and flawless. So, so far I'm happy with this. I think it looks really good. We're going to have to see how it wears, but yeah, I mean, for a dollar, that's really nice. For concealer under my eyes, I do have the Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer that was recently at Dollar Tree in the shade 02 Light. I do have this and I have already used this previously. I'm just opening up this fresh one here that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, mine doesn't have the sponge anymore. This one does have the little sponge, but this is really easy to remove if you don't like it. It literally just like spewed out. All right, so I'm just gonna put some off my finger. <laughs> that was... Shocking. This is definitely a creamy concealer. It's not too thick. Put it along the side of my nose to add to my nose contour. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out. I look ghostly right now. I'm gonna blend out my concealer with a wet sponge. This I think is my LA Girl one. Yeah. This. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with one of my favorite products from Dollar Tree, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and Reserve Your Cabana. This is so, so good, you guys, especially for highlight and setting underneath your eyes if you like that illuminated look. So I like to use a flat brush. So this is the, I think this is the e.l.f. Yeah, e.l.f. Blush, blush brush. It's very flat. I dip the brush in the product and then I press it into the skin. And this also acts as a little highlight as well. For brows, I'm going to go into this Hard Candy Duo set that I found. It's actually four pieces. Two powders is I'm going to take the wax and a little Spoolie. First thing I'm going to do is just spray my spoolie into the wax. It does kind of leave some little white residue. It's not like a perfect product, but just to kind of get that your brows set before you do that, brush them out of the way. This is one of my recent favorite products, Dollar Tree. It's the LA Colors Brow Cream Gel. You guys, this is so good. Oh my goodness, I've been reaching for this every day. So I will do one brow. I don't want to like bore you guys with two brows. I'm using my little essence brush that I absolutely love. Just draw back like that and then I brush up see how setting the brows before really helps with the whole process of doing your eyebrows so that's what it looks like super easy to do happy with how they look everything will look better when my makeup is all done because right now my skin looks so light from that foundation got this hard candy highlighter palette which is really pretty and fun so the tops are like these 
powders and like they're fun colors and then the bottoms are cream so you can kind of layer the two um these are really fun and pretty definitely for like when you're feeling a little bit sassy uh so it's like kind of like a fun like a duo chrome so i'm just going to use my sponge and pick up some of this shade and they do have glitter in them so they're not really for the faint of heart this one right here i just picked up on my sponge and then i'm just gonna tap this onto my cheekbone and since we have a fun purple eye, I feel like this is going to go really well. So, like, do you guys see? Hopefully my camera's picking it up. How, like, nice these are. Because they really do go on the skin so pretty. Like, it's just, like, a fun highlight. And one of these shades to my inner corner. This one right here, it's kind of like a pearly pink. Just for a little pop. I was watching this video on TikTok today of, like, what not to wear clips from like back in the day and they were like carbon d used to say to highlight your inner corner and i'm like oh my gosh that must be where i got that tip from because i used to watch that show and i loved her makeup segments so i was like she was like my og person that i learned how to do makeup from carbon d so on tiktok she has a lot of followers she still does makeup tips she has like a qvc line so she does really push her products which i i totally get um, but I thought it was cool that she still has a line. She's still, like, doing her thing. This is so good, you guys. It's called Just Glow Highlighting Powder in Struck by Light. I'm just going to add some of this mascara to my lower lash line. I always do this after I apply concealer. I did pick up another one of the Thick Stick Foundation Sticks in Mocha to use as, like, a contour type of shade. So let's see how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and place this in, like, this little contour area up here and I do want to like be a little careful with these because I know they are a thicker formula it's definitely a little bit warm but we're gonna work with it you do not need a lot of this because this product for contour goes a long way like look at that that's too much product I'm actually just gonna go ahead and kind of buff some of that out with the foundation brush yeah, this is definitely um, a little bit too red tone for me for a contour. I don't have any bronzers from Dollar Tree. I haven't been able to find one yet. So I'm just going to go in with the butter bronzer from Physicians For. Go over that cream contour. And I want to warm up my face a little, like I was saying before, because the foundation was so light. So I'm going underneath my jawline too. For blush, I have this Hard Candy Glow All The Way Blush in Living Doll. Um, mine broke. A gizzy dropped on the floor. So I'm just, ooh, it's like getting everywhere. I just kind of am using it like in the pan. But it's so pretty, you guys. Wait till you see it. It's like a highlighter and blush in one. Gardener is like right by my window and I just got really scared. Okay, this is so pretty, especially when it's blended with that highlighter. Your cheeks are literally just glowing. I found a new lip liner at Dollar Tree. It's the Maybelline Color Sensational Precision Lip Liner in Nude. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out today. I had quite a few colors, like all in the nude family. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this. It's at its like sharpest point right now. So it's always a little bit more difficult when it's super sharp like this. I kind of like it to be worn in a little bit, but... I wonder if people are ever going to get sick of like lip filler and go back to like a more natural lip, like people who have smaller lips and get lip filler. I just feel like, I guess people are just going to get lip filler for the rest of time. And I just feel like it's kind of always going to be there as a trend because fillers got so popular. I'm terrified of needles, so we will stick to lip liner. I did also get this flower lipstick in Set Me Freesia, which is kind of like a nude... It's like a nudish brown color, so I wanted to try this out today. It took me forever to get the plastic off of this lipstick. At least it's sealed good. But um, this is called the Kiss Stick Lipstick from Flower Beauty. And it's actually a really pretty like brownish nude. So let's go ahead and apply this. Ooh, yes, this is pretty. I really love these Kiss Stick lipsticks. I have quite a few from Dollar Tree. Very moisturizing. I find the application is really nice and creamy. This is like the perfect brown tan tone kind of nude. Um, you guys know I usually go for more of a pink, but I like this. Over that with this Milani Stellar Lights Holographic Lip Gloss. 
Um, it's like kind of a crazy color in the packaging, but I feel like on the lips it's not going to be as crazy. This shade is called Kaleidoscope, and again, another Milani find. So Dollar Tree just has it all. I think I showed this to you guys in a recent haul. So I'm going to see how this looks. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like caramel. Was not expecting that. It really doesn't add a crazy color to the lips. It's just kind of like a gloss with a little bit of spark. <laughs> Always with the landscapers in the outside. I just realized I had this that I wanted to try too. This Beauty Benefits Powder Highlighter. Maybe I can put it on top of that cream. So I talked about how I have that Beauty Benefits highlighter that I love in the bigger square packaging. This one is in a little bit of a smaller packaging. I'm, I'm just going to take this pink shade and just put that on top of that cream we applied. And these are very subtle. Like it's not going to give you this crazy glow. It's just more like a lip from within, which I really like. Okay, so this is a limited edition spray from their Crystal Cavern collection. And I've been finding a bunch of stuff from this line. So I'm just going to spray my face with this. I'm thinking, ooh, it smells good. I'm thinking it's going to be similar to their other spray that I have. Lavender in it. And then I'm just going to use my Dollar Tree fan to dry it. Thinking this is more of a like glowy mist rather than a setting spray, which is fine in my book. Guys, here is the final look. Let me know what you think of this. I think this actually came out really, really pretty. Again, whenever I do these, the final result, I am always so shocked just knowing that literally everything I used came from the Dollar Tree. I was a little bit nervous about the eyes. I was like, I don't know how this is gonna come out, but everything came together and I actually love the warm crease with the purple and then that little lighter sparkle in the front like of my inner corner I think looks so nice. The foundation, the only thing was that I need a little bit of a deeper shade. So when I go back to Dollar Tree, I'm gonna get a couple shades up from this, especially from Self Tan, cause this one's just a little bit too light, but I do like the coverage of it. I feel like it looks really pretty on my skin especially blended with everything else like my blush and my bronzer like i feel like my face looks just kind of like nice and i hate to say flawless but looks really kind of like filtery and soft hopefully we'll be using this again i am really shocked by how much i like this and you only need a tiny little bit because it is thick really like this milani concealer it's not the thickest or the most coverage but i still think it's a nice like everyday medium tone concealer so check that out the LA colors brow gel I am so like wowed by this and I highly recommend picking that up well, nose contour brush I'm absolutely obsessed with that from Dollar Tree this palette is amazing um, I think these shades are a little bit too deep for me to use as highlight but I will use them as eyeshadow they're perfect for that and the cream shades are stunning you guys like I feel like my cheeks are glowing love this little lip from within highlighter from benefits they are the same people who make wet and wild love the primer from hard candy i think this was amazing and it really gives me that like high-end gripping primer vibe um this setting spray i really feel like it put my whole makeup look together it took away any sort of powdery look that i may have had definitely definitely pick that up you guys um if i find another one i will get a backup of that love this perfect for setting under the eyes if you guys see this pick this up this is like holy grail for me our beauty lipsticks are always amazing you guys know i love those I also loved this liquid shadow from la colors i thought the quality of this was awesome and it really made the eyes pop like totally made the eye look of course you guys know i love my ioni lashes i feel like again these lashes just make the look what it is right now and just really tied in with a bow so i highly recommend you guys pick those up if you guys enjoyed this dollar tree makeup tutorial let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going to be searching for any of these products if you have a favorite from something that i used today i really loved everything and this was so much fun to do thank you guys so much for watching your support means the world to me and i'm so glad i have my little dollar tree community i'm so grateful for my community on here you guys are like friends to me and i love you so much and i will see you in my next video bye